Hey everybody, welcome back to App Tech Talk. This week we're going to be talking about penetration testing. We're going to break it down into three categories. External penetration testing, internal penetration testing, and web application testing. Stay tuned. So what is a penetration test? Let's break that down a little bit. A penetration test is typically when a company or an organization hires somebody or a third party company to have what they call an ethical hacker look at their application or network to determine what weaknesses there are, what vulnerabilities exist. The idea behind this is that the good guys can find the vulnerabilities before the bad guys do. Let's talk about external penetration testing first. What is it? Basically, external penetration testing is when an ethical hacker is trying to find vulnerabilities and weaknesses on a network or application that stick out to the outside world. This typically does not involve workstations, laptops, printers, and devices or even applications that are inside of the firewall. Here, we're looking for devices that stick out. For instance, maybe a web server, maybe a file server that's sticking out there that the public can upload files to. Maybe it's an email server that sticks out there. Any type of service that sits on the external side of the firewall that sticks out to the outside world. Why do these things need tested? Because anybody in the world can access that external facing device. So the goal is that we can find those weaknesses or holes with those devices that are sticking out on the outside network or application and fix them before bad actors find them and use them for malicious activity. During an external penetration test, it is extremely rare that there are no findings. Almost every external penetration test has findings. These findings could be something as small as maybe an old antiquated algorithm for encryption is being used to something as large as a file server that's sitting out there that hasn't been looked at in three or four years by the company. However, people have been in and out of that server for years that shouldn't be. It's extremely important to understand what holes, vulnerabilities, and weaknesses exist on the external side of your network because after all, these are the things that anybody can reach. So we wanna make sure that those are locked up. Okay, so now that we've talked about the external side of penetration testing, I wanna break down the internal side. So what is it, what's the difference? Well, the external is the public facing external side of your firewall that only people from the outside can get to. The internal side is just the opposite. You have to be inside of that network to be able to access those devices inside. It's not public facing, it's not internet facing. So why does this need done? Because it's already protected by your firewall, right? Well, if you watched our last episode, we talked about breaches that happened in 2021. In 2021, 85% of breaches happened because of what they call the human element. And that means that basically breaches that occurred, 85% of them required user interaction for that breach to happen. And this is because of things like phishing, ransomware, things that require a user to actually do something for that bad actor to be successful. These things are inside of our firewall, inside of our network. And if you think about most of a company's assets, it's actually inside of the firewall. So if a bad actor or someone that was trying to infiltrate your network actually got into your firewall somehow, what could they now access? So the internal penetration testing is basically the service where we do a test from inside your network so that we can even test if a rogue employee decided to do something malicious on the inside of the network what could they actually get to? These same weaknesses and holes and vulnerabilities that exist on the outside of a network can also exist on the inside of a network as well. That is an internal penetration test. So testing within the firewall, the non-public facing side of the firewall inside of a corporate network is internal penetration testing. So when external and internal penetration testing is being performed, how do we know what vulnerabilities to even test against? Well, the great thing is, is that there is this thing called the National Vulnerability Database where every known vulnerability in the world is listed in it. And the tools and standards and the normal way of testing that an ethical hacker takes an approach of follows these standards and tests against these vulnerabilities. So you know that when you get a penetration test, if you choose the right company, they're testing against every vulnerability in the world. 
So now let's talk about the last, but certainly not least, penetration test. And this one is the web application penetration test. So what is that? What's a web app penetration test? Let's think about it. It's basically the internet. Anytime you use a browser and you surf the web, whatever website you are on, that is considered to be a web application. So let's think about that. If you are company XYZ and you are trying to sell widgets online, you are taking customer information. You're taking their first name, you're taking their last name, email address, possibly their credit card, things like that, that those customers don't want that data leaked anywhere. That is why companies need a web application penetration test. Typically, a web application penetration test consists of using what they call the OWASP standard. The OWASP standard is a set of guidelines, a set of rules that you test by, and they test for things like what they call SQL injection, cross-site request forgery, and all kinds of other crazy technical terms that you don't really need to know, but it's tested against common weaknesses bugs, exploits in web applications. And our goal is to keep that customer data safe. And it doesn't even have to be a website that, that you store company credit cards. This could be uh, a company website that maybe you're just storing your, your company's employee information and you don't want that information to leak out to anybody. So a web application penetration test is typically a little more sophisticated, complex test, but it's the entire internet. And if you're doing business with someone who has a web application and your program or your application is going to tie into their application, you will also want to make sure that they are also taking care of their application as well. So you may actually request one of your partners to have an application penetration test as well. That is a web application penetration test. So these are the types of penetration tests that are typically performed in the industry. It is extremely important that you have these penetration tests done for your organization to keep not only your organization safe, but the potential customers that you have, your client data from leaking out onto the internet, because that could be really bad for company reputation, as well as really bad for your clients and customers, and nobody wants that. It is very important also when you're having a penetration test performed that the company or person who's performing this test for you not only finds the holes and weaknesses, but they also give you advised mitigation techniques, basically telling you what you need to do to fix that. That is extremely important in a penetration test. I hope that you have a take back from this and you have a little more understanding when someone mentions about a penetration test, maybe you can actually teach them something as well about the three different types. Thank you so much for tuning in. For more information on penetration testing, after all, that's what we do. Feel free to reach out to us at Appalachia Technologies.